Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to show with you guys. Uh, these literally just landed on my front porch. It was actually a, um, a big package full of Wii knives and Civivi knives. I, I, I decided to split up the uh, the Wii knives from the Civivi knives just so we could, um, you know, kind of focus on these two today. I have no idea what they are. I haven't looked at anything yet. I haven't even pulled it out of the packaging uh, other than the initial packaging. So it's going to be a surprise. As per usual, if it's something you can buy right now, I will link it right down below so you guys can check it out. It does help my channel when you use my links, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks for Wii for uh, thanks to Wii for sending these in for me to take a look at. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right, let's. Um, I guess let's just look at this one first. All right, we got this. So we got a sleeve. Um, these are going to be on the more premium side. Oh, is this a special edition? Okay, what do we got here? We got uh, the Ziphus, the Ziphius hand rub satin CPM 20 CV blade. Okay, this is the Ziphius special edition knife. Let's see what we've got. Ziphius. <gasps> ooh, 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 it's a button lock. Um, okay, wow, all right. Yeah, look at this. We got a little extra sauce here. A little nice little pivot collar. What do we got on this? What do we got on this pivot collar here? Huh? Got a little bit of sunken ship treasure there going on. I imagine that's just more of a... Let me read here. Hold on. The hand rub satin is great to take carbon fiber integral space. Oh, a carbon fiber integral spacer. Now, we, now this, this is a little extra spicy. I, uh, I like this. We got a, we got a pivot collar here. We got this, this is just a milled line in the titanium, but they've anodized it. And you know what? That looks good. It's also a button lock. And while it is not an integral knife, the back spacer is a, a piece that almost sheathes the frame, kind of, I guess, or is it? It's hard to say, but this is cool. It's different, right? Let's go ahead and give it a little flip there. Hey, you know what? That felt pretty good. Oh, God. Okay, now. <laughs> okay. This is nice. This is cool. Yeah. I've been hard on uh, we here. Oh, but don't. I've been hard on them here um, lately. And really saying, you know, hey, we got to pick this up. Now, I don't know what this costs. My God, that is really crisp. Give me a sec here. Yeah, I think this is the best action I've ever felt on a button lock. And I mean that. Um, normally, the breakaway from the button is either crunchy or it's a little loose or a little sloppy. This is snappy. Look at this. Plenty of pull. Also, very, very crisp uh, with the thumb studs and zero stick. Absolutely zero stick. No idea what they're doing there. Really nice looking handle profile. Incredibly comfortable ergonomics. Look at this. Oh, man. You guys are killing me with this one. This is beautiful. Um, fantastic choke up position and... Uh, great, uh, you know, how the, the thumb position relates to the index finger position. This is wonderful. Hand rub satin finish, kind of a Warncliffe style blade. Here come the blade police, right, to tell me I'm wrong and that it's actually a modified hawk's bill, dinosaur toe, you know, roundhouse, freaking spaghetti monster 9000 blade, whatever. Shut up. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a really cool blade shape. Man, the pivot collar, that little anodized line there, that looks fantastic. I actually really like the... Um, integral uh, backspacer. I like the bead blasted tie uh, contrasting with the uh, hand rub satin finished blade. My guess is there's a few different variants of this. Um, but, you know, honestly, if this one does have a slightly higher price tag, I think this is a bit more justified. You know, I don't know what it is yet. Obviously, I don't want to see this thing coming in at like $500 or anything like that. But, hey, pretty sweet, at least on the presentation and execution. Wow, that is a super cool knife. Um, man, that's one of the nicest wheeze I've handled in a long time. Oh, is that another thing that could be 
kind of suggestive. I, here, what what is this? The the Ziphius. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The Ziphius special edition. Well, what do we got here? We got another one. It'd be wishful thinking to assume that it's another one of these. I'm gonna move that. I don't even want to look at it. I want to just. I want to experience. Experience the blade. It's another special edition. No way. This is not the same thing. No, it's a different one. Okay. Marada. Gray titanium handle, nebula fat carbon. Okay. Marada, Marada. Two special editions. Oh, saucy package today. I keep saying suggestive things. I'm not doing it on purpose. All right. I got to be honest that the fat carbon, the nebula fat carbon is not my favorite thing in the world. It looks, it does look nice and they have definitely done a nice job with it. Oof, man. I really like that we is doing these better clip. This, these backspacers and clips make it a lot easier to appreciate these special edition versions of these knives. That's a pretty good looking knife. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Nice looking, really nice looking blade for sure. Um, huge fan of the backspacer, huge fan of the clip. Not the biggest fan of Nebula Fat Carbon, but I would imagine they'll have multiple versions. This is about as flippery as a flipper has ever flipped. Um, they really have that dialed in just perfectly. Detent is majestic. The flipper tab, the flipper action is glorious. <laughs> it's full of valor. I don't know. What else can I say? I don't, I don't know what to say. Right? Just adding words and syllables here. But yeah, man, that's pretty good. Okay. I think maybe... I would find this a bit more appealing with a different material, something that contrasts better with this uh, clip. I mean, this is so busy that you almost don't notice the clip and backspacer until you look. Um, but uh, having maybe, um, you know, just black fat carbon would have really sauced that up a bit more for me. But this is still pretty cool. I got to say, though, the winner of the, the duet here um, is certainly this boy. This is... This is a spicy piece. This is a really nice piece. And I want to measure it here real quick and weigh it just so you guys can take a look-ski. I don't know why I'm saying stuff like that. What, what am I doing? I'm like changing characters in the middle of the game here. Um, this is a pretty big knife. Wow. 8.75 inches blade length. Wow, no way. That's a 4-inch blade. Boy, it's about 4 inches. Cutting edge. Cutting edge is a good, it's almost like 3.3. It's, it's a little more than three and a quarter. This is freaking cool. This is really cool. And I have a feeling that um, people are going to agree with me here. Um, that is just a freaking classy looking knife. And I think much more deserving of a special edition title um, than things we've seen in the past. This is the type of stuff that I like to see. If you're going to offer a certificate with it and you're going to tell me that it's a special edition, you know, this is the type of sauce I want on my meatballs. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Now i got to think about whether or not I want to edit that one out. <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face for that one. Oh, man. But this is good. Yeah. I like this. It's cool. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. This is really, really great. Sincerely, I, I really like this model. I think it's awesome. You guys will get full comprehensive reviews of each of these knives a few weeks down the road. Um, but uh, for today, I think that's going to be about it. Like I said, I'll link these guys down below if I can. So check them out. Thanks again to Wee. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.